to Oviedo, the starting point to the Camino Primitivo. With just under 5% of all the Camino traffic, the Primitivo is one of the quieter ones. A common misconception about the name is that the Primitivo means primitive. It actually refers to it being the original Camino, first walked by King Alfonso II in the 9th century from his capital in Oviedo all the way to Santiago to verify that the bones in the tomb were actually those of St James. Quite how he managed to do that, it's unclear. You can start the Camino by branching off of the Camino del Norte at Sebrayo and you'll hit the selfie-ready city of Oviedo a couple of days later. Oviedo can be considered the starting point of the Primitivo and one of only two or three cities along the route. The other city being Lugo, the city you hit a few days before you join the Camino France at Melide. There are many steep ascents and descents and because of that it could be considered one of the toughest Caminos. It's a fairly quiet route and with only two cities it's the one to go for if you want to avoid the hustle and bustle. Well, it's about 321 kilometres broken down into about 12 daily stages. A huge plus of this Camino is the amount of walking you do off-roads on paths and trails. As with many of the other Caminos, you'll be spending a bit of time walking next to some fairly busy roads. And although you won't find the variety of landscapes that you'll see on the Camino France, for example, the Camino Primitivo does offer some beautiful, though similar landscapes. Around about the fourth stage of the Camino Primitivo, you've got yourself a choice between the Hospitales route, the hospital route that goes over the top, or the lower route. It's quite a difficult choice because the Hospitales route is unusually remote and you go for a good 26 kilometers without anything, nada. No water, no amenities, no cafes, no bars, just horses and cows to keep you company. On a good day, the trek is certainly worth your while because you get this kind of thing. The mist has just lifted and it's uh, now revealing stunning views of the, the valley. Just outside Old Caravo, there's a decision to make as to whether to take the top route or the bottom route. So we're here. Top route 5.2 kilometres, uh, bottom route just under 5 kilometres. Going via Villa Bade or going via, via Virale? Both routes look quite nice, but my guide says the uh, top route's a little bit more interesting. Either way, they get you to Castro Verde. I'm going to take the top route and it's green, so that's reassuring. A lot of people push on all the way to Lugo. Uh, on this stage nine, but it's just under 30k, a little bit far, so I'm going to break my journey in Villa de Cas, where there's meant to be a really lovely albergue or hostel. So here it is the best albergue so far. So you can tell this is a pretty nice dormitory room because one, it's got curtains and it's got a fancy hanging basket thing where you can put your stuff. I guess you can put your phone in there. Happy days. So it's also got a nice socket to plug in your devices to charge up at the end of the day. Plus a handy reading light.
So here I am in Lugo, which is the second city after Oviedo. It's famous for this cathedral, as well as the Roman wall, which entirely circles the old city. The cathedral was originally built in the Romanesque style in the 13th century over an existing building. Thousands of pilgrims have stopped to pay their respects in front of the Holy Sacrament and the altar, which has been on permanent display since about the 13th century. So, built in the 3rd century, these Roman walls are very well preserved. The walls were listed as a World Heritage Site in the year 2000. If you come here as a pilgrim, you might be a bit tired to walk around the entire perimeter. But the views from the walls are really something else. So here we are in Melide, which is where the Camino France and the Camino Primitivo meet. So after the uh, relative quiet of the Primitivo, we're suddenly going to get lots of crowds here. It's going to be a bit of a shock to the system, but this is how it's going to be all the way to Santiago, which is in two days' time. <laughs> 